What up, homie? It's time for me to try and replicate a dish of yours, but try and make it my own a little bit for two reasons. Reason number one, we have no sweet corn in the house, and when I asked Dana if she wanted to go and pick some up on the way home, she's like, nah. So, won't be having it with sweet corn, which is fine, because I hate the stuff anyway, so we would only put it in her dish. I wouldn't put it in my own. So... What we're going to do is we're going to replace that with a pepper. Going to chop that up and throw that in instead. Um, reason number two. I don't even know what I was saying. So, I don't think it was a second fucking reason. Okay, so we've got some chopped onions. We've got um, red onions, not white, as you showed. So, instantly it's going to be a little bit different. We just never seem to get white ones anymore. Just have it. Uh, the lime's for the side, actually. I'm just, I tend to just like to squeeze lime on, you know, it's Latino type of food. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, another addition. Gonna be chorizo, so we're gonna do chicken and chorizo, just because I love chorizo. Dan has got, in the oven right now, a corn version, so I'm just gonna cook them through. And fry them in last minute, probably. Of course, it's all already cooked, that stuff. Trying to keep the methods the same for both dishes. As you know, as you told me, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, um, oregano, which I always thought was just for pasta, but the recipe says so, it says so. Uh, that's the ground coriander. Salt and pepper, as mentioned in texts, WhatsApp messages. Uh, that's cumin seed. Now you say smash them up maybe, which I could do, but I think you could also be referring to ground cumin, so you might need to clarify, is it ground cumin, like the powder that you actually meant to put in, or is it cumin seeds? For now, I'm just going to throw cumin seeds in, because really, I'm sure it's going to be de delicious either way. Fake chicken, as usual, on her side, and this is quite reminiscent of your video, I'm pretty sure I just bought the exact same pack, just chopped that shit up. And if you remember from my vlog last week, uh, 3rd of December, so I whacked that straight in the freezer on the 4th. So I hope it don't kill me. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, shit, the kidney beans, yeah. As I've mentioned, I'm finally through the bag. So I soaked them off earlier. And got well prepared, this is the fucking light at. Yeah, I got well prepared, soaked them off earlier, and I've just boiled them for about an hour and a half, so they're nice and soft. And they're just basically waiting to be thrown in. But I have put on the shopping list, please, tinned kidney beans next time. Because I don't have the time to be in or rushing in in the afternoon just to put something in on boil in future. Just because I'm dossing at the moment doesn't mean I always will be. So, yeah, that's it. We are we are finally rid of the, uh, uh, the dry kidney beans. And that's that. I will show you the results of what I make shortly. My god, I put in the oregano and the cinnamon in with the onions and the aroma was amazing. A bit dark, but uh, you'll see I've got a little less on the onions and a bit more on the spices, so hopefully we can get this flavour right the first time. That's all the spices in there now, including the cayenne pepper. I think we're going to need a bit more oil. Not to mention the sauce, so of course I've got some chopped tomato. well, so I've got some tomatoes here, some plum, and cherry that I'm going to chop up and throw in there fresh. I'm going to stick to just one carton of the basics. Chopped tomatoes so that I don't over flood it, but if I need any more, I'll squeeze some more in. I'll judge it as I go along. Finally, going to be making some guac. I have one of these bad boys, which is ripen quite nicely. Still a little bit firm, but hopefully I can get some good mush out of that. As a side note, if you got four butt cheeks on your pepper, it's a female. Dana's researched into this. Four butt cheeks, female. Three, and it's male. Okay, just saying. So this is it so far. It's actually not looking as seasoned as I would have expected, actually. So I might throw a bit more in once the tomatoes are in. I feel like these are gonna sort of absorb everything. And once I get the tomatoes in there, I mean this, you can't do shit. With the seasoning. So yeah, I think once the chopped tomatoes are in there, this is going to drown everything out and really set all those flavours up, so I might add some more of those spices in a bit later. I'll let you know if I do. 
The bad news is that the avocado is still a little bit hard. It's ripe, but a little bit hard for my liking. So what I've done is I've taken half of it. I'm going to do this in two little installments. Uh, avocado, onion, bit of salt, squeezed quarter of a lime in there. And I'm going to put it on top. See how it goes. Once it's in here, all right, that's firmly in place. Space shuttle, lift off. No, fail. Fuck's sake. Right, take two. Here we go. Yeah, I like to like that shit you get in the shops. There you go, it's part one of guac. So I'll do the second half in a bit. Just what I show you, I've tasted it. It's fucking amazing. This, uh, I actually use more chopped tomatoes on the veggie version because whatever I've got in there is absorbing it big time. This is actually quite dry and that's got like full tin of tomatoes in there, I guess. Plus the loose ones. So yeah, that is done. That's my version, you can see a bit more sloppy, it's obviously got the fats from the meat just running out, making it more wet. So I'm just letting that one evaporate a little bit more. There we go, that looks like some pretty good guac right there. Forgot, I don't know if I've shown you this, this is off a chilli plant upstairs, I had half before I went away last and I've just defrosted it. Spicy as fuck, it worked, <laughs> we've grown a jalapeno chilli. So, I'm just saying, don't lose faith. It worked. The second one that grew, it's decent. Uh, bear for the side. So, we them there. Um, to the rice. I'm really digging all this new technology of uh, editing, so I'm able to actually produce full meals on the video. I don't think you've seen me actually cook rice before. I'm just going to throw some oil in here. We're going to fry it off this Spanish stroke Mexican rice. And we're going to fry it off for a minute or two while the kettle boils. Uh, first, I'm going to need something to stir it with. That'll do. Just had a bit of Mexican food on it. It's all good. Spanish, whatever it is. You'll have to remind me. So mix all that oil in. That do its thing. Heat up a bit more. Still going. Nearly there. Get you one of these. Yeah, there's about that much rice, so literally gonna go 50 50 on it, I think. Um, right, so here's the process. I'm sure you don't want to sit here for two minutes watching this fry. So we're just gonna get that nice and hot. When it starts to dry out a bit. Add the water, add about half a stock cube, a generous half. Put it on a low simmer, stick a lid on it, and 10 minutes later, we will be complete. Left my camera on for a bit too long, and it's uh, cut my video out, so this is coming as a additional supplement. So, here we go, there's the guac. And uh, as advised by yourself, the sour cream blobbed in the middle, bit of coriander on top. 
I put some dried coriander in the rice as well and uh, we've squirted lime over the whole lot as well so and there's some of that jalapeno there on the side this is Dana's plate here so that's the veggie version the veggie chicken you see there pepper obviously beans mushrooms and that's mine the chicken speciality I'll let you know how it tastes <laughs>